Ladies and gentlemen, we have the groin and the traps as well as the neck. So there's a lot of little finicky areas compiled into one video today. And I'm gonna to try to keep it as consolidated, clear, and simple. So the simplicity of this is, let's just start with the groin, and that's gonna be just your entire inner thigh, pretty much. Now, here's the thing, guys. There's really no right or wrong with this area. You're gonna go all the way to the pubis. With that, you'll need to elevate with a softball on a book, um, or preferably a kettlebell. That's gonna be your best friend. And how you're gonna do that is you're gonna kinda go to your side like this, go into a plank. We've done this before, and you're just gonna rest into that while not compromising your neck or your lower back. And just relax as much as you can into that, into somewhat of a plank. You can maybe lay down, but with the kettlebell, you're not really gonna be able to. You can go from the top to the bottom, literally the entire leg, or you can do that with the book, like I mentioned, same concept that you're gonna go into a 90 degree angle like this. I like to lay down all the way and just start by the knee, the quad, the VMO, the vastus medialis, that's the inner quad here, slash the groin. Up and down, very slow movements. You can extend the leg wherever angle you want, whichever angle. And just see what's pulling more. Try not to move the muscle too much, relax into it, obviously five to 10 minutes each muscle, guys. I'm on the inner quad, it's pretty freaking bad. I'm on the middle of the inner groin and I'm just gonna work slowly up. To be honest, you can actually get to the deep groin with this ball on the book as well. And it's almost as effective as the kettlebell. I still think the kettlebell is the best. I'm in the middle now. Once again, pretty freaking bad still. Try not to compromise your back like that, or your neck. Breathe very slow, two to six breaths per minute. Dull, achy pain. Find where that pain radiates. I feel this all the way up my groin and all the way down my knee. If I go deep enough, if I'm not a wuss, I can actually feel this go to my big toe. <laughs> Relax, try not to make too many pain faces. You can't be tense when you're doing this. You gotta sink into the ball and accept it, guys and just wave goodbye to that trauma that you've been storing in there because the groin on it. Honestly, this day, both the traps and the groin store the most amount of emotional trauma I've seen. As in people will sometimes cry after this. It's interesting. Chinese medicine believed that a lot of anger is stored in the groin, the adductors. Not sure how much I believe in Chinese medicine, but yeah, it's a cool concept, right? I believe it. Once again, kind of go a little bit more towards the quad if you want. I found a pretty bad angle just by angling my foot upwards like that. I think that's the sartorius. It's like the longest muscle in the body. That's kind of crossing over the groin as well, but either way, nothing's wrong. Just make sure you're on that inner thigh. Five to 10 minutes each leg, guys. Deep pressure to the bone, eight to nine out of 10 pain. Breathe slowly. So that was the groin. We're gonna be hitting the traps. And the face, I also have like the head, the neck on this area as well. Basically, like I said, five to 10 minutes, you're gonna be able to explore a lot of this area. So the traps, you can hit the top part portion, excuse me, the top portion right here. That's gonna be against the wall like this, right? On the corner of a wall. Or you can lay on the upper trap with a lacrosse ball, two or one at a time. I like to do one at a time and then come up into a bridge. Not too much because you don't want to compromise your neck like that. Just apply some deep pressure and you can work down the shoulder blade, five to 10 minutes. At the same time, I like to take my Theracane and then kind of explore while I'm hitting that, hit the, hit the, uh, the pecs a little bit of scalings, which is in the neck. Make sure that you're not hitting your jugular. You'll know if you're on a vein or not, or an artery, or the sternoclamastoid, which is right here at that bony nodule point. That's where the theracane comes in handy, but I just wanna get you a guy's an idea of how I trigger point. I save time this way. 
by still getting an effective treatment. Now, two trigger points is too much at one time. Just don't worry about that. Just focus on one until you really get it down. What are we trying to get down? Deep pressure to the bone. Feel that pain radiate. Find that really bad spot that is dull and achy and radiates outwards. All right, we'll say we hit the traps quite a bit there. You can hit the top portion. I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to work with the camera angle too much, but once again, just if you want to hit the top portion, which could actually be worse, you find a wall, you dig into it, you put all your weight into that, and just relax into that ball and that trap, and that will really release. If you can't do that, at least take the Theracane top portion, turn the neck, and just pull down as hard as you can without tensing your body up too much. I like to kind of angle it like this. The Theracane does work in this sense. It's just a lot of people don't do it intensely enough or long enough. You'll see people just kind of like rolling around here. That's not how it works. Deep pressure to the bone and you gotta do it for a long time. All right, so that is the traps. Now, if we're hitting the neck, that's gonna be the occipitals. You can incorporate this during your five to 10 minutes you're hitting the traps. And I like to use a ball. Now here's the thing, the occipitals are basically where the traps connect to, all the way up here, in the back of the skull, the very top portion of the erectors. Now, we're gonna be on two different sides, one at a time, left or right. I'm on the left right now, and then what I'm gonna do is kinda of tuck my chin and go straight back into the ball. Tuck my chin and just pull my neck straight back into that ball, and go side to side. That's the occipitals, guys. That gets super locked up. You can hit that with a therapy, but I think this is way better. You can shake your head if you want. Very slow movements. So relieving. Let me do my right side real quick. And then you can also just explore a little bit on the skull, the side of the ear in front of it. You can also do the jaw. Just what I'm trying to say is don't be afraid to explore different parts of your face, your jaw, your above your eyes, your temples. It all gets really bad. And that's what today is about. We're about the groin, the traps, the neck, and the head. If you need to spend more time with the jaw, spend more time with that instead. If you need to spend more time with the traps, spend more time with that. The neck, the occipitals, spend more time with that. With the neck area though, I will say, Try not to push too much if you're not aware of what you're doing or the musculature because that's where you can mess up and cause some damage. There's a lot of sensitive muscle, muscles around the neck. So just be very careful, be very aware. But once you find that bad spot, apply some deep pressure to the bone. Right, so hope you guys liked that video. Once again, we hit the groin, top to bottom. Tell you what guys, a lot of stress gets stored in your freaking head. I just felt like my whole left side of my face release. Like there's so much tension that we store that we don't know, we're not aware of. So once again, take your time, relax, cut out the distractions, stop watching TV. Your focus should be 100% on your breath and the pain. Trying to release that pain, trying to relax while getting as much pain in there as possible. So can say goodbye to it but more importantly all we're trying to do really is just hydrate that fascia and the more we do this the deeper we go the more it will release and stay released and we'll stay more hydrated hopefully like this video mitigate stress.com download our free mobility guide we're going to be updated with these awesome videos if you got any questions or requests hit me up on instagram dm me or we can also set up a free consultation on the website we're still doing that getting pretty busy so definitely make sure that you reserve your slot because we're going to be shutting that down soon but if you want a free consultation, go to our website, mitigatetrust.com, and we will see you shortly. Peace.